back to follow-up segment tonight. An outrageous situation in Chicago over the 4th of July weekend. 82 people were shot, 14 fatally, one weekend. Almost all the shootings were in the black neighborhoods on the south side of the city. As you may know, this has been going on for years, and police cannot stop it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Groundhog Day here in Chicago. Until such time that something happens to the individuals who carry these firearms, you know, everybody asks me what's different about New York and Chicago. I can tell you very simply, the proliferation of firearms. But that's bull. Chicago has very tough laws against illegal guns. Problem is they don't enforce the laws. Justice system seems to be chaotic there. According to Chicago Tribune, one man wanted for murder has 21 prior arrests. Joining us now from Chicago, Karen Conti and Steve Greenberg, both are criminal defense attorneys. Uh, Steve, we begin with you. Um, it was rated that Chicago is in the bottom three of federal prosecutions for guns. That means that when the Chicago PD arrests somebody for having an illegal gun, they don't turn them over to the feds when they could. Um, because they say, well, we have tougher laws in Illinois, so we'll prosecute. But they don't prosecute. They flee it down to misdemeanors in most of the cases. So the chief is being disingenuous at best. It's the system's fault that all these people are being killed, is it not? Well, Bill, I disagree that they plead it down to misdemeanors. In Those fact, are the facts, the gun Steve. Laws, well, Those the gun the laws facts. in Illinois are harsher. What happened here is that the gun laws were found unconstitutional. These people have a right to carry arms. And so the problem is not with the gun laws. The problem is not with the punishment. The problem is more academic and epidemic in that what are you going to do with these people? When guns are rampant in a neighborhood, if you, either if you a have policeman to carry a gun arrests somebody or the other with an illegal gun, you. Steve. You know, you're disagreeing yeah. with the facts. I mean, that gets us nowhere. If a Chicago police officer arrests somebody with an illegal gun, doesn't matter what the courts have ruled, it's an illegal gun. The facts say that the prosecutor busts it down to a very minor crime. Thus, you have a guy wanted for murder with 21 arrests. What do you say, Ms. I, I don't know. I don't know where those well, facts are. All right, it doesn't matter whether you know, Steve. Those are in stone. Go ahead, Ms. Conti. Here's what happens. Here's what happens. The cops arrest. They charge with 10 or 9 counts of whatever it is. The prosecutors get it, and it's too much paperwork. It's too many man hours. The courts are, are, are crowded. The docket's crazy. The prisons are overflowing. So they plead it down, and they get these guys out, and they're back on the street again. So the police, again, the the police commissioner is not telling the people in Chicago and the USA the truth. It isn't the gun law. It isn't that. It's just that the system is overwhelmed, according to you, and they can't get the bad guys off the streets or they won't and, get them off. And as a result, those criminals know what gets prosecuted and what doesn't. That's right. They're smarter than the lawyers, so they know. That's why they give the guns to the little kids, because they don't get prosecuted the same as adults. All right, so now. Th this is creating disrespect for the law. Chicago's the third largest city in the country, Steve, and um, the gun crime is concentrated in a few neighborhoods, not Asian-American neighborhoods, not Hispanic-American neighborhoods, certainly not on the Gold Coast in the white neighborhoods. It's all in the black neighborhoods, and it's gang-related, most of it. Isn't there a cultural problem here, Steve? There, there is, Bill, and in fact, they said a lot of the shootings this past weekend were not necessarily gang-related. It is a question of survival for these people because so many people have guns. You're either going to shoot at somebody or be shot at. That's the mentality. Then if, and what if they that's have to do true, is not Steve. lock these people up. If yeah. that's true, shouldn't they have a stop and frisk policy, which they had in New York, but they don't have it here uh, any longer. And since they stopped stop and frisk in New York, shootings have risen 8 percent. And that's just in a few weeks. All right. So shouldn't they have stop and frisk in Chicago to get the guns away from the bad guys? Well, I say yes. You can't put I aside. Well, you can't put go. aside. You can't put aside the civil rights, and the police can't do that. You can't put aside Not people's civil constitutional rights. Issue rights. Here. In so New York, York, it was a policy issue. Go ahead, Stop uh, and Ms. Frisk. Conti. It Stop and frisk is constitutional. Our U.S. Supreme Court has upheld right. it. It upheld it in New York City. If a cop has reasonable suspicion that that person committed if a crime or was involved, he can pat him down and he can find and out whether he has a weapon. And that's all we're talking about here. We're but talking about a policy. Now. He can do that now. 
They can do that now. They but do do not that doing now. It. Those police, those police are out on the street in force, stopping people, stopping cars without probable cause. In fact, making up probable cause after the fact, searching people. There are whole Steve, portions even of the, the community police chief that believe. Even the police chief of Chicago admits he can't stop it. All right, he can't. Well, he's stop not going to say. He's not going to say we're going to go out there and violate people's civil you rights. You don't have to do These that. These people have nothing to look right. forward to. The you know problem is not legally. to lock them but up. Of course the not. The solution. Do legally, don't you, lock them up. Let them the carry guns and shoot people and have 140 shootings in a weekend. Look, give it's them an anarchy, opportunity. Steve. It's anarchy, okay? In Chicago, the city government, uh, Mayor Emanuel, the police chief, Mr. McCarthy, cannot solve it. So innocent children are being shot. And all it is, is just, it's his fault, it's his fault, it's his fault, but it's incompetence at a level that I've rarely seen. We appreciate you guys coming on.